Hey everybody, welcome back to Drinks in a Movie. Today we'll be talking about War for the Planet of the Apes, but first a couple announcements. I first want to thank uh, Greg, Kessler, Alicia, and uh, my wife Kara for filling in for me next week and doing the movie Beguiled. I'm sorry I missed it, but I'm glad they did it, and I think they did a great job, and I want to thank them very much. I also want to thank my wife Kara for giving me this amazing pillow. Look at this. It's beautiful. Got the logo and everything on it. I love it. Thank you so much, babe. Uh, and uh, that's about it. I think they did a great job. I hope you guys also enjoyed uh, Drinks and Movie on Location in Las Vegas with my friend Alex, who was cameraman for that. I think he did a great job. So thank you so much, Alex. Now, let's get to War for the Planet of the Apes. Uh, but first, let's start with the drink, of course. So the drink today we'll be making is the Brass Monkey cocktail. And the Brass Monkey cocktail is fairly simple. It's orange juice like a bunch of orange juice with one part rum white rum one part vodka and a half part which is what I added into banana liqueur because you can't have a monkey drink without some banana and that seems racist but we're gonna do this anyway so uh, all this is combined into a shaker with ice you shake it up pour into a Collins glass with ice and uh, drink away uh, so here we go Let's do this. So we got the white rum and we'll start talking about War for the Planet of the Apes. So War for the Planet of the Apes is written and directed by Matt Reeves who wrote and directed the previous Dawn uh, of the Planet of the Apes, which is also very good. Um, and he's also doing the new Batman movie, which is really cool. Um, and it once again stars Andy Serkis in another Academy Award worthy performance as Caesar. It also stars uh, Woody Harrelson as the menacing and he's literally only known as the Colonel. Uh, he's pretty much the antagonist of the movie. He's really good in this. Um, and it continues along the plot line of Caesar's uh, journey through Rise of the Planet of the Apes to Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. To culminating in this movie in in my humble opinion one of the best trilogies ever put to film uh, I think the all three of these films come together beautifully and is uh, just remarkable so let's shake this fucker up and see how it is all right let's see how <laughs> Let's see how this is. It's the banana that got to me, I think. All right, cheers, everybody. Here is to War for the Planet of the Apes and the Brass Monkey Cocktail. Pretty damn delicious. Okay, so before I start talking about how amazing this movie is, I want to kind of caution everybody and talk about a little, talk a little bit about the marketing of this. I think it was marketed very deceptively, and what I mean by that is that uh, this movie, first of all, is titled War for the Planet of the Apes, and all the marketing stuff, like the trailers and all, uh, all that stuff, and the posters, were uh, geared toward this kind of, you know, uh, war-like movie you're expecting like war from end to end they showed sequences of battles the the thing is this movie is not a war movie at all and i and i get that people don't want to go into movies knowing much so spoiler alert a little bit but i want to curb your um expectations a little bit because i think they, it, it, they have been a little the, the 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 expectations of this movie along with the marketing have been a little bit off so this movie is not a war movie movie it is more of a revenge slash prisoner of war movie honestly i mean really 
There are only two large action sequences in this movie, and one of them kind of takes place in the background to the real action that's going on in front of you. So it's definitely not an action movie. It's definitely not a war movie. It's more of a revenge slash uh, prisoner of war movie. Uh, so that out of the way, let's get on to the positives. Okay, so there are three stars of this movie. The actors, uh, Andy Serkis, Woody Harrelson, the writing and directing of Matt Reeves and uh, the, the incredible special effects. And let's start with the acting. The acting is just incredible. You have Andy Serkis once again as Caesar putting forth an incredible, beautiful, emotional, heartfelt performance uh, as Caesar in these um, performance capture suits. Uh, and, and he's not the only one. There are many among his um, eight brethren that are uh, wonderful. Uh, just to point out a few, there is uh, Karen Conoval as Maurice and uh, Steve Zahn as the Bad Ape, and they are both give, give so much depth and, and emotion and uh, just care to their characters in this motion capture stuff that uh, you forget that you're watching uh, special effects uh, most of the time. I mean, these performances are genuine, uh, emotional, and most of all, believable. And that's 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 the most astounding thing to me. Woody Harrelson was also very uh, very good in this. Uh, he he gave this kind of menace and instability, but also. Um, he was he was he really chewed up the scenery almost to the point of cartoony, but he pulled back enough just to make it believable. And you really felt the, for this character. You really felt uh, and, and understood his motivations, which is really difficult in something like this. And so the reason all these things work is the writing and directing of Matt Reeves. I mean, he has built this this world that is just incredible. I mean, I haven't said anything about special effects yet of this movie, but they are astounding. I mean, they are mind-blowing. Let's throw the Uncanny Valley out the window. This movie, these apes look fucking real. And from what I understand, most of it is 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 done through computers, and that is that just that just blows my mind. Uh, like I said, um, also the 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 direction and uh, along with Michael Giacchino's score, uh, it's just some gorgeous shots and some really emotionally heavy moments that um, more than once brought me to tears. Now this is to say nothing of the themes that Matt Reeves includes in his script, from loss to the importance of family to the acceptance of new family members to race Age, to revenge, to uh, trying to uh, hold true to yourself and, 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 and let those things go, like the things like revenge and anger go, uh, and to being a great leader, to letting your people down, to um, standing up what you believe in and persevering over the, the worst times in your life. I mean, these things are all present here and none of them get shortchanged and that's what's astounding about this movie is that it found it finds time for all of these things but it, it, it doesn't seem like the, any of this stuff is crammed in there or or stuffed in or, or anything's out of place and that is really fine filmmaking in my opinion now look don't get me wrong this movie is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination there are some problems and here are a few I was hoping for better resolution between Caesar and Woody Harrelson's The Colonel. Their confrontation at the end was a bit more introspective and I was hoping for a more grandiose climactic clash between the two, like, you know, the protagonist and the antagonist. I really wanted something, you know, strong there. Um, and I just wanted more out of that. Also, there's a gigantic deus ex machina at the end of the movie that I really didn't like. It was really eye rolling. Uh, it was almost as if the filmmakers you know knew that this film had been going on for some time and they just needed to wrap things up quickly and they had like a couple of loose ends they were like let's just do this 
and uh, su surprise, we have an ending, we did it. Um, it was very convenient and a little off-putting, and I, I really didn't like that. I, I, I thought that, especially from the rest of the movie, they could have come up with something better. Uh, also, a friend of mine um, uh, that I saw this movie with uh, afterwards said that this movie is, isn't very original and kind of predictable. Well, look, he's not wrong. Um, it is, it isn't very original and it is kind of predictable. And what I mean by that is that this movie takes cues from The Great Escape and The Searchers and movies like Papillon and Angelina Jolie's Unbroken uh, and even Death Wish. And it, it takes all these things and 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 puts it into this larger scope of this movie essentially with apes um but they do it in such a way that it just works it's it, it is kind of predictable i mean the way things turn out yeah you can you can predict them predict them and see them coming from a mile away but that's really not the point of the movie i find that if you have you know borrowed ideas but if you do it in such a way that are, that that it pays homage to these ideas instead of just you know stealing from them then it's uh, then to me it's okay and also if it's predictable but you also do it in, in, in a way that it's emotional and it's full and it, it completes the character's story, then it's, then it's also okay to me. I mean, this movie is not so much the conclusion, but the journey is what's important here. And, uh, and the ending might be predictable, but it's also heartbreaking and beautiful and, and, and just got me on every level, and I appreciate it for that. All in all, no surprise, this film blew me away. I loved it. Uh, I, I'm giving it a 4.5 drinks out of 5. I really loved it. I thought it was great. It was emotional. It, it, it just, uh, it was a perfect capper to this really great trilogy. So, um, look, thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. If you love this, please like, share, and subscribe down here at the bottom. Thanks again for just, just checking me out. Um, hey, listen, uh, what is your favorite trilogy of all time? This is up there. This is a great trilogy. Let me know what your favorite trilogy of all time is down in the comments. And again, have a drink on me. Thanks so much for joining me. Good night.